Hey, hey, buddy. How you doing? Pretty good. How are you? Yeah, pretty good. Um, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm doing a study sample, kind of for Movember, okay. and uh, it's on men's anal health. We're introducing a product, right. okay, uh, that is going to help with sort of uh, anal cleansing. Do you mind if I interview you, uh, ask you some questions about your anal hygiene? And also, you know, we're going to give you some tips and tricks about, you know, how you can sort of uh, help yourself anally. Yeah, I guess that'll be all right. Have you ever been to get a prostate exam? No. Have you ever heard of a rectal brush? I heard about it, but I never had one. Do you own or have you ever used a bidet? A bidet? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Have you ever examined a friend's prostate as a favor or for fun? No, I haven't. But if my good friend asked me, I'd do, I'd do it for him. If there was a product available on the market that when ingested would transform the smell of your feces into the smell of motor oil, would you consider buying that? No, I wouldn't, actually, because I like the smell of my feces. Describe your general interest in fecal matter. Well, I have, like, an entertaining interest. Like, sometimes, like, if I go, like, and I let something, like, huge go, then I'll be like, you guys have to check this out. Like, this is interesting. Have you ever uh, gotten a stool sample? I have not. Come on, you're, you're somewhat interested in fecal matter. You've never gotten a stool. I, I find that hard to believe. I've a stool sample. In terms of wiping, would you describe yourself as a beginner, intermediate, or expert, and why? Wiping? I'd say I'm a intermediate. I'm a pretty persistent wiper. Not the greatest, but not the worst. Yeah. I have, you know, when I was really sick once. Really, huh? Yeah. Okay. How, how was that for you? I think they figured out what was wrong with me. <laughs> Would you feel comfortable teaching small children or foreigners how to wipe themselves after going to the bathroom? I don't think so. <laughs> Even Europeans? Even Europeans. If there was an exciting product on the market that was a rectal brush, it came in different colors and sort of had uh, music or whatever, would you consider buying it? Uh, if we have fun with it, maybe. Would you consider purchasing a rectal ointment that uh, was very popular, even if a possible side effect was that your anus would become temporarily paralyzed? I don't really know what to say to that because... Mm -hmm. If like all the kids were using it and it was popular. Maybe, yes. You had a bad rash. It was really oh, bothering. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Yeah, if it fixed it, yes. Uh, what this is is a spray. It's called RectoClean with acid! Exclamation mark. All it is is really one, two sprays, you're good to go. Uh, only real side effects are, um, well, if you, if you feel a severe itching or, or minor bleeding or irritation, that's okay, that's normal. It's just the acid and your skin needs time to get used to that. Um, if you start to feel nauseous, you just lie down on the ground, have somebody call 911. That's kind of serious. And then there's also a brush here. You just sort of, you know, brush it out. It's pretty straightforward, in and out, in and out, in and out. It's like the toothbrush away from the orifice, away from the orifice, away from the orifice. That's all. You actually get one of these for helping us out. That's free, that's for you.